Hello everyone, hope everyone's doing well. Um, so I had a few requests to do a makeup tutorial and I'm actually really excited because I've never done one before so this will be my first one. But uh, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy for this one. I'm just gonna start with a simple basic eyeshadow look um, which I believe what the main request is for was eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'll kind of try to make it quick and easy to follow. Um, but it's really just going to be uh, an eyeshadow look and then just a few tips that I didn't know before I started doing my makeup that really helped me out. So hopefully it'll help you as well. So I just wanted to give you an idea and show you the products that I'm using in case you're curious. Uh, you do not have to use these brands or these products. You can use your own um, and choose your own colors as well. But I just wanted to show you in case you are wondering. We have here, everything on the left here is what I'm using for the eye makeup. So that's what this tutorial is about. Um, everything on the right here uh, is what I use for my foundation, blush and all that. I don't go into how to put that on in this tutorial, but if you're wondering what I use, I did include those products here. So for our eye makeup, we have the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, for our eyeshadow, we have this Naked Urban Decay for the light portion. Um, for our colors, we're going to do a Sephora brand makeup, and it's uh, these two purples that we're using here on the bottom. And then this Anastasia brand of eyeshadow is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use that shimmery one on top for a highlight. Um, we'll also be using a variety of brushes, which you can see here, just a good variety of brushes. Um, L'Oreal Mascara. We have a Revlon eye pencil for the eyebrow uh, filler. We also have a uh, concealer here, which is by NARS. And then this is the Neutrogena makeup remover that we'll be using for the um, tutorial as well. Um, so on the right here, again, as I said, I'm not gonna go into detail of how I do foundation and everything, but if you're wondering what I use, we have a Revlon Color Stay powder, the IT foundation, um, and then we have a Becca highlighter. This blush that I got from Target, it's a great variety and then a beauty blender and a standard blush brush. All right, so one of the biggest tips that I can give you that I didn't learn till recently um, was that it's actually better to put your eyeshadow on and your full eye makeup on before you put foundation and everything else on because that way it gives you the freedom to sort of just take a makeup remover and use it around your eyes to perfect the look before you put anything on your face. So. Tip number one, do your eye makeup first. Um, I've already filled in my eyebrows just a little bit uh, just to kind of give them some shape and that way I know where the, what the area is that I'm working around, but you can do the eyebrows before or after. Um, so anyway, we're gonna start first. I like to start with a primer, which really helps keep the eyeshadow on throughout the day. Just depends on what you're looking for, if it's something you're gonna have on for a few minutes or a few hours, um, but this is the one I use. It is the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and it's the anti-aging version that I have. Um, so you'll just take this and put it on your eyes. And this was a real uh, game changer for me when I first started using it because my eyeshadow used to crease all the time. And this is really something that has made that go away so I do not have that issue anymore. Okay now this is where I like to put on a little bit of whatever foundation powder it is that you use on your face and put it on my eyelids. So I use this Revlon Color Stay. so I'm just going to take a little bit of it and dab it on. That way it gives your eyelids just a little bit of a base before you start putting eyeshadow on. Now we're going to lighten up the eyelids a little bit so that it'll give it a real nice background to work on for your color. Um, so you can start with any real neutral or light color that you want and the brand, what kind of makeup it is, it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm using this Urban Decay Naked um, color here and I'm going to be doing that very lightest color. So just something light that you can spread that will kind of lighten up the whole base of the eyelids and give us something to have a nice contrast to the color that you're gonna put on top of it. And I'm just using this brush, it's a, I don't know, eyeshadow brush. 
I'm gonna pick the color that you'd like to use on your eyelids. And my color of choice is purple. So again, I'm using a Sephora makeup. It is a purple, um, this purple right here. And what I like to do is start on the corners of your eyes and kind of move inward. You can cover your entire eyelid with it, but I like to you start the corners and just kind of make it a gradual fade to where it goes from dark to light color. And that really gives it a dramatic look. So we're gonna do that on the corner of this eye and then on the corner of this eye and you kind of just blend it in. I'm using a bigger brush. So this is a thicker brush. It's really great for moving the eyeshadow around a greater surface area of your eyelid. And this is the nice thing is you don't have to worry about going over too far because in the end, as I said, we're going to use that makeup remover to clean up the edges. So if you go over a little bit, if it falls under your eye, not a big deal. Um, and I like to usually go just under the brow not all the way to the top because you want to leave that light portion that's kind of going to highlight your eyebrow but you can come on over and as you get closer to the inside of your eye you can kind of stop putting it towards the middle but still continue on that top portion there and that gives it a real nice fading effect all right and i like Kind of having that dramatic cat eyes effect every now and then so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this and sort of just create a corner that extends out a little further and then again come up just under the eyebrow so it's your choice as to how dark you want that color or how light you want it or how dramatic you want it but this is the look I'm going to go for I'm going to extend it out just a little bit more right about to the end of the eyebrow there maybe just a little bit past okay so now we're going to add a little bit of highlight and shimmer to our look um, so I like to use this I have this Anastasia sorry y'all my makeup is not the cleanest but anyways don't pay attention to that um, I'm using this wonderful kind of shimmery light look and it's a little pinkish so it blends in well with the purple um, but we're going to take a little bit of a smaller brush just to highlight and one awesome tip tip number two um, you can get your brush a little bit wet so you can maybe just put it under the sink or dab some water on it and that will really help the highlighter to stick to the brush and then put it directly on your eyes so we're just going to highlight right under the corner of the eyebrow or under the arch of the eyebrow and it's okay if you get a little bit on your eyebrow you can always fix it up later and then I also like to do a little bit on the bottom of the eyes but we haven't finished the bottom of the eyes yet so we're not going to do that just yet you can also take a little bit and kind of dab it in the center or the front corner of your eye so I'm going to do that and then after this it's really just blending so I'm going to take that um, brush that I used for the color makeup again and sort of raise that color up so it blends with the highlight that I just put on there and there aren't any harsh lines or anything. Right, so this is where that fun tip of cleaning up around the edges using a makeup remover comes in handy and you can use, I'm sure you can use makeup oil or something else, um, but I just use this Neutrogena makeup wipes are the wipes that I used to take my makeup off at the end of the day. Um, so I just grabbed a small square of it and kind of make sure you have a straight edge. So most of, the, most of the time by this point, stuff has fallen beneath your eyes or around your eyes and you just want to clean it up. So we're going to take this and go under our eyes very gently. Clean up anything. Now this is where you can kind of shape that cat eye portion and that's what I'm going to do so I'm just going to take it and create a straight line like so because I want it to look a little more dramatic and as you can see it kind of starts creating that line that you see there and that sets us up, sets us up real nicely for when we finish it up and add eyeliner.
All right, so this is where it starts getting fun and you start seeing dramatic changes to your look. So I have, and right now at this point, you could just put your foundation on, add your eyeliner, whatever you wanna do, but I like to make it just a little bit more dramatic. So I have this uh, lovely concealer from NARS. I got it at Sephora and you can usually get someone to help you match your skin. That's what I did. Um, but we're just gonna take it and sort of just dab it on underneath the eyes. And don't put too much, you know, you want it to look natural still. We're gonna dab it on under the eyes, just like so. And then I use this brush, it's a flat, flatter brush to just kind of move it around and blend it into the rest of my skin. And then here's where you really wanna pay attention to creating that line. So we're gonna go up and really follow that line that we created with the makeup remover, just to emphasize it and make it more dramatic. And we'll do that on both sides. Ta-da! All right, so you see they're really starting to get dramatic. That look is really coming to life now. Uh, so we have done our concealer and then just make sure that it's real nice and blended, even if it means coming down a little bit onto the cheek area. So at this point is where I normally add my concealer and foundation or just foundation powder, whatever it is you want to use. And since I'm doing the tutorial on eyeshadow, I'm kind of going to quickly blow through the concealer portion. this point I have used a liquid eyeliner on top of my eyes and you can extend that out as far as you want it to go just depending on your preference but that's what I'm doing right here yay look how awesome that looks and as I said you can extend it as far as you want and sometimes as you're doing this look then you'll kind of start noticing that the bottom either creases or kind of moves around a little bit. So just, all you have to do is just take, take a brush and just blend it. Just take that brush that you used for your concealer and just blend it. This isn't the brush I use for the concealer, but anyways. So this is looking really fun now. It's starting to get exciting. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is, again, if you like this look, it's a little bit more natural, then this is fine. But if you wanna add a little bit of a shimmer, go into a party, or whatever you're doing. Um, you can take that same highlight color that you used on the top and just dab it on the corner of your eyes here. Now that you have your concealer on and everything, this is the last we're gonna do. So you can just dab it, kind of add some to the corner. And I like to put eyeliner on the bottom part of my eye too to make my eyes sort of just pop a little bit more. So I'm using a Revlon Color Stay eyeliner and I'm just gonna apply it to the inside. Right by the eyeball. And then also add a little bit to the bottom and we're gonna blend that. To finish it up, sort of the icing on the cake, so to speak, is I'm going to take my thin, a uh, flatter brush and very fine. This is meant to put the makeup, apply the makeup on the very ends or, you know, small areas. So we're gonna take that brush and just sort of blend that eyeliner that you put on. And now I'm gonna take a dark purple, so a purple that's a couple shades darker than this one, and really just give a pop look to the edges of my eyes. So I'm using this dark purple, just next to the light purple that I used earlier, and just take like one dab on the brush. And then I'm just gonna take it from right where the line is and just go up and fade up. Thank you. 
And after you've put that darker color on the edges, if you kind of look, scoot back and look at it and it needs to be blended up some more, don't be afraid to take that on up a little bit higher so that it'll blend well with that highlight that you put on your eyebrow. That really gives it a nice effect. And then we're gonna take the same color, just a small dab underneath the eye, sort of carry that color throughout. And last but not least, we're going to do our mascara. So you can, at this point, if you like to use falsies or fake eyelashes, you can do that. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara. I like to use this L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Waterproof Makeup. So I'm gonna take this and put it on my eyelids, or eyelashes. And then at this point, if you got any makeup on your eyebrows or want to touch them up, then you can do so. Another fun tip that I learned, shout out to my sister Marissa, I learned most of these tips from her, um, is if you have regular highlighter that you use on your face, you can also take a little dab of that and put it on the arch of the eyebrow. And it does make a difference or on the corners. So now you got some fancy eyeshadow, really pretty look for work, for party, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing. And you can do this in any color, any color you want. And then if you want, you can add a fun lipstick to top it all off. So there you have it. If there's anything else that y'all want to see, just let me know. This was fun to do and hopefully you got some fun tips out of it. And if you do end up trying a look, please be sure and share that with me. I would love to see how it came out. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you.